How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome back to another review on the channel. Now if you've seen my rewards video yesterday, you would have seen we got this player pick Florian Sovan, 86 rated informer from this brand new team. It's a position change from a right wing to a striker. We've converted him down to see him to fit him in the team, and we're going to play him striker and cam in game. So you get the best of both worlds. And lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Smash the hell out of that thumbs up button and bring the bloody hype. Let's see if we can hit 1,000 likes for this Newcastle legend. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what the hell are you doing, lads? Subscribe to the channel and click that little notification bell as well to be notified of all the reviews that are placed upon the channel. Now, as you can see, we've got a team there. It's my uh, super team right now. We're going to go into a 4-2-3-1. Socrates and Makaleli at CDM. Tovan will play as the middle cam, Mbappe as the ram, Neymar as the lamb, and Ronaldo at striker. So, lads, let's see what he's like. Let's get into the review. So here we go. Now, as you, well, some of you may know, I've not always been kind to Florian Tovan. I've given him some damning reviews in the past. But um, last year, I think towards the back end of last year, I think he got like, um, what was it? A pink card or something like that, 95 rated? I, I really rated those high rated cards of Florian Sovan, even though he had a three star weak foot. Since then, I, I don't know, I haven't really agreed with Sovan. I've used his normal card in this game. I did like his normal card somewhat, but I didn't do the League SBC preferring to pie over that. Now he's got this position change. Will he be more effective in a central role than out on the wing? That's what we're going to decide today in game. You might look at his uh, goal scoring record and think, you know what, this player's crap. Four in six, not good enough, and zero assist. However, look at his in-game stats. He looks phenomenal. From the 89 acceleration to the 80 sprint speed, the 85 positioning to the 81 finish and the 86 shot power, 85 long shot, 72 volleys. He's got 82 field of vision, crossing this 86, the short pass is 86. Very important for a central wall for the one twos and whatnots. And the curve is the 89, the dribble and category. This is where he excels. 88 dribbling, uh, 88 dribbling, it's 87 dribbling, he's got 88 agility, sorry, 72 balance, which isn't that great, he's got 84 reactions, 86 ball control, 87 dribbling like I did see here, and 86 composure, and he's got 87 stamina, now strength wise, he's not very strong, it's the elephant in the room, it's 69 strength and 59 aggression, some of you will see here, uh, stick a finisher on him, boost that strength up, but um, what's the point in boosting like a 69 strength up to like a 75? You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be that great. As you see, he's dribbling on unsure in the background. I basically lost the match. I thought, you know what? It's got a mad dribble. That is a sensational goal from Florian Tovan. And he is capable of that in game because his dribble is that close to his body at all times. You would have seen that little jink inside there. It never got away from him. It was always in control at that point. And you will see here as well, once he does get the ball right now, look at that dribble, man. It was so close to his body. It's always in control. And that is an exquisite finish from Tovan. But he doesn't do it often enough. His end product is a con because well, you've just seen two amazing goals right there. He doesn't do that often enough. And it's uh, his end product is quite inconsistent, whether it be his finishing, whether it be the final pass, whether it be the dribble, it's always inconsistent. So end product will be a con for that reason and that reason alone. However, in terms of pros, before we focus on the negatives, um, acceleration. It's unbelievable. The second you press that accelerate button, he's away like the clappers. He's gone, man, as his shot comes close to beating Allison there at the near post. His acceleration is so damn good at 89 acceleration. I know it leads to a slow sprint speed, but it doesn't really matter if you've got an instant burst of acceleration that's taking you past your opponent. It is very overpowered on this game. In terms of the rest of his pros, you've got the dribbling. The dribbling is exquisite all the time, always in control. Look at this, he flicks it over his shoulder on the volley. <laughs> How do you like those apples? What a finish from Tovan right in the top corner. So he's, he's capable of moments of magic, but like I said, it doesn't happen often enough. Dribbling wise, he's got 87 dribbling, he's got 88 agility, he's got 89 acceleration. Very, very, very evasive on this game. That's what you need at Cam at times. As a central kind of player, at Cam, it's very important to have this low center of gravity and um, just glide across the floor from time to time. And what you see in the background now is goals that he does contribute to. He passed that back to, uh, to Ronaldo there. It didn't actually go down as the assist, but Ronaldo did score it nonetheless. In terms of the agility, 
like I said, he floats like a butterfly, stings like a bee. He's got that, I don't know, that, uh, I don't know, the dribble on him. He just floats, man. Like, low center of gravity yeah, is very important to the car as he scores there in the background, tapping it into an empty net. Great movement from the car. I've got to say, his movement was very good. Uh, high to medium work rates at 85 at second position. And, uh, so his movement for his end product wasn't the issue. Uh, and I'm not too sure what the issue was. It could have been me, lads. It could have been me. Uh, in terms of the ball control, like I said, it's always in control at all times. And I love that about the car because if the ball's in control, you can do what you want on this game. And with Toban, you can definitely do that as he gets the ball centre and he skips past one, plays it down the wing to Mbappe. Mbappe will play this across the box, trying to find Sovan. And um, yeah, we nearly score in the end with Sovan, but it's uh, come close with Ronaldo. We will score from the corner with Cristiano as well. So he kind of did contribute somewhat to that goal, even though it was a corner header. His stamina, sensational. It's 87 stamina. Since the patch, stamina is very important. So um, 87 is a calm. He's not going to lose stamina, and that is great for the card. However, freestyle weak foot, freestyle weak foot, freestyle weak foot. He's not going to score on that freestyle weak foot, man. It's just, um, it's not impossible, but it's not going to happen um, too often to be able to notice and say, you know what? That freestyle isn't that bad. So freestyle is a con for me. End product is a con. Like I've explained multiple times what that is, how it works, and my kind of thinking, my psyche into that. And the strength, he's not strong. <laughs> he's not strong. 69 strength and 59 aggression. He will get pushed off the ball. However, he does possess a lot of different qualities. And lads, do you know that spreadsheet? We've got rid of it. We've got the perfect strong and weak links into the squad to kind of give you some options to pull this guy into your team. So we've got league earnings. Earnings? I've never said that before. League earn links. That's a, that's a bloody mouthful, man. So, um, yeah, let's get the overall rating on the final screen then. It seems the overall rating with Florian Soban is going to get an 8.6, which isn't that great, but it's not that bad. It's a good, a good rating for a good card. He is a good card. The position change does help. I think he's more effective centrally than he would be on the wing. I probably would have scored two goals in six games if he was out on the right wing. But uh, four goals in six games wasn't too bad. I did enjoy the card. So you can see the enjoyment rate is an 8.5. The value coin is 8.4. I reckon 100k for this card would be bang on. 120 to 140 is a bit of a stretch right now. I do have to say that. Foot champs ready? He's getting a yes from me. And I'm not Simon Cowell. I'm not Louis Walsh. I'm not like Cheryl Cole or anything like that. Um, I don't even know who does the X Factor these days. But he does get a yes from me in terms of the foot champs readiness. I mean, I could have used him in my squad in foot jams and he would have done a good job but I, but I did buy a uh, Clarence State off for that spot. In terms of similar players we have Antoine Griezmann, Memphis Depay and Mario Goetze for the calm and striker rules um, respectively. In terms of key pro it is the dribble and the key con is the end product and the best game style will be Sniper. In terms of what is at the bottom now we have the links. So the perfect link for this card and like all cards won't have perfect links but I'll give you some options to kind of pull this guy in your team. Perfect link if you want him on that perfect kind of linkage. Uh, Dimitri Payet's in form. Dimitri Payet's in form would be perfect for this card. And um, yeah, he's literally the perfect link to this card. Marseille, Marseille, France, France. That's how you get a perfect link on this game. The strong link would be Kylian Mbappe. Kylian Mbappe's normal card is good enough. You don't need his in form from time to time. But um, yeah, his normal card is good enough. And it's good enough for that strong link in Ligue 1. And uh, the French uh, link as well. And in terms of the weak link, that will be Neymar. I'm not saying Neymar's a weak link. He's a brilliant player on this game. But he does get that orange link to Florian Sauvain. Just uh, with um, being in Ligue 1. He does get that orange link. And I reckon that is fantastic. I really, really do. Um, so you've got some great options there. From the similar players to the, the links at the bottom. The spreadsheet, it's long gone, guys. I can't find it at all. It's, I've, I must have deleted it. But we've got something new now. I hope you have enjoyed it. It took me ages to bloody create it because I'm, I'm a photoshop wizard i'm a wizard boys i'm a bloody wizard so i hope you have enjoyed this review if you have once again bring the bloody hype smash the hell out of that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you are new around here and in the comment section below let me know how you found tovan a lot of you have been using them a lot of been like asking me for my opinions you've heard my opinions now i want to hear your opinions on the card in the comment section below hell i might even pin some so guys get comments in Get liking, get subscribing, and I'll catch you all next time, lads.